Hello and welcome and a happy new year. Actually, we are recording this podcast and it's already 2024. Isn't that insane? Yeah, so I'm Lea Wernley and I'm with my friend Shelia Stevens. Hi, happy new year from me as well. And you're listening to Time For You. So we are taking time together and um, it's a podcast that should give you some space and a good feeling and just a little time for you. So grab your coffee, sit down, relax and enjoy. Mm. Very good. I was just I was just pointing to your microphone, Leah, because it was getting a little bit quiet for a minute and I don't know, really? like may just like push on the cord to be sure everything's all hooked up. Ta -da. I've got always technical issues, guys. So that's not that's, that's good now. Yeah. Yep. So Shelly wants to know what I wanted to tell her before the podcast, and I didn't because I said that's going to be for the podcast. <laughs> and probably I'm not the only one, but one of very few people that kind of like strange incidents, uh, things that go wrong, because then I've got an educational story. <laughs> so, I've got a, a probably quite a expensive educational story. I had coaching this morning and I was a, a tiny bit late and actually it already started yesterday because yesterday I was quite chilled, but I had like coaching and a meeting and really a lot of different stuff going on back to back. And um, I'm... I'm okay with that, but I really have to concentrate when it's like several or a lot of things and a lot of different things. So yesterday I went out and I forgot to take the key for the um, garage. What's that? Is that um, garage? The key to the garage. The key to the garage. So I... Um, the, the, our car was on the parking outside and it snowed. And this morning I had to just for not a long time, but like for half an hour, I had to go back to the city because I love secondhand clothes and I love to sell secondhand clothes. And I sell again, like Every several months, I think, no, I'm not going to deal with it anymore. And then I I do it again. And it's a, it's a little store where you rent kind of a shelf and then you sell your own clothes. And I had to swap clothes today. And, um, and normally, sometimes they help me out. And this time I had to go myself. I even had to kind of... Verschieben. to move to move coaching or to ask if it's possible because I didn't realize that this appointment is this early so I went out and my car was covered in snow, snow. a little but it was covered and I went into the car and now listen educational story <laughs> I had to small like this tiny feeling of hmm it's it's a bit dark even when i i the um die windschutzscheiben uh wie heißen diese dinger okay uh, give me a second i have to translate in my on, mind the windshield wipers yes on and the snow was gone like from the window in front and behind i could see but it 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 even felt a little too cozy but I had to rush. So I drove into the city. And in the busiest street, the police stood there and they looked at me very firmly and pointed me to the side. And I was like, 
My heart started racing because I thought, oh, what's going on? And then they did they do not say why at first. So they just stopped me and asked for my driver's license. And I couldn't find my driver's license. And then one of my lenses. Uh, was... <laughs> don't say your your contact lens fell out of your eye. No, Leah, <laughs> don't do this to me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Because I was a little nervous, probably. So I was like, oh, sorry, stop. I can't see. I have to put it in again. And they stood there like, mm hmm. So I found the license. Then I called my husband because I couldn't find the, the identification thing for the car. The car really... ownership papers. The car ownership papers. Yes, yeah, all over the place. And mm -hmm. the like and then I did, took a deep breath. I said, "Hey guys, I need a minute." And they started to walk around the car. And then I realized I don't know why they did pull me over. So I went out and said, "Hey, um, so what's the matter?" And they were already measuring the snow on the. <laughs> <laughs> on the roof of my car. So when the snow is over three centimeters, that's forbidden. So it was more than that or a, a, a tiny bit over. <laughs> so that was um, the case. And um, the lights were slightly covered. And that's how I got a... Ooh, a fine. A fine, yeah. And I couldn't pay it straight. It's even, it it goes to court. So <laughs> I'm going to have to pay uh, probably a lot. And I was quite calm. I was really, I started to talk to them and I said, listen, guys, I'm normally in the garage and I'm not used to snow anymore at all and I completely forgot how to handle that and so they even wrote that down <laughs> um, they wrote that down yes they wrote that down they said yeah probably maybe for court that's for the judges so they know and I was like oh yeah that's cool and I was so chilled that the lady police she was kind of sorry at the end that they had to to give me a that, fine that, that fine so I at, um before I I went back on the street she was like yeah I help you to navigate so you're safe back on the street they helped me clean the car and beside me was a guy who had the same issue and he was out of his mind and he was really angry and he shouted and I get it. I mean, it was, it's not going to be fun. It's going to be money. And still, I just, oh, and why educational? She was like <laughs> the, the police lady. <laughs> He said, oh, you're one of the nicest <laughs> people getting a fine. And I said, yeah, um, that's cool because I know actually something. <laughs> and I told her what I know. I said, yeah, I know because I don't want to stress out because I know you can't make me angry. I know that only my thinking can make me angry feel anything and she stopped in her track and looked at me and I thought yeah one more <laughs> <laughs> she can. I did it no. <laughs> one more <laughs> one more she's probably already on our German list by now <laughs> <laughs> who knows she has my name so she has your name and the whole story written down yes. yeah she has my mm -hmm. name so 
but I have to be honest, when I got to the second hand shop when my husband called me and he was really, he was cute. He was a bit like, oh no, didn't you know? And I was like, no, I didn't know. And he was like, oh, and I was like, mm. and then I cried like for a minute and then it was gone again. <laughs> And <laughs> before the principles, uh, we are talking about the three principles. If we refer to the principles, mm -hmm. your mind, consciousness, and thought, and kind of discovered, they they were discovered in this um, language or how we are talking about them by Sydney Bank. So just for you to know, and it changed our lives so even <laughs> police incidents and stuff like this is not that um bitter or our um unpleasant anymore even though it's not fun but because we always can get present and and be in our force somehow and wisdom comes through us and i just knew staying calm and not not um getting angry is the best thing to do right now mm. and slowing down to find the license and just having a chat with them um saved a lot of my energy somehow so i was not wrapped up or or in an anxious or nervous state after that i just um could carry on with the day and that's so much easier but end it's <laughs> not the end right now oh my gosh uh, the stuff no that's just the education part when stuff like that happens it is an invitation for me nowadays because it means mm, that's a little bit too much probably going on so it is the invitation to slow down and yeah. to take a, a good look and being aware where where did I rush or um, where is something to see to to slow down even a bit more. And so, yeah, it's a bit of an expensive <laughs> <laughs> a lesson <laughs> lesson or or a love letter as bill petit would put it but um it's it's a, a wake up call a small one and i appreciate it as well to just be aware oh yeah there is something to see for mm, me yeah so, <laughs> no, never Switzerland, guys. If you're visiting our lovely country, snow over three centimeter no, doesn't no. work. <clears throat> so, uh, I, can I say a few things to this story, yes, Leah? So, number one, thank you for sharing that. That already made my whole day because that is like classic, Leah. You guys have no idea how many of these stories Leah has had since I've known her. <laughs> it's like, oh, another one, another one, another one. Um, I don't think that's the the last time. I think recently before you already got locked out of the garage, I think you're remembering something like that, but it was at the school and not at your house or something. But yeah. she's also constantly being fine. <laughs> she, recently, remember you were on the bus and you didn't have your ticket. This happens to, this happens to her all the time. So yeah. This is um, so good that she has the understanding of the three principles because mm -hmm. I can't even imagine what your life was like before the three principles. Like, what did oh. you do, Leah, in this like, th this Leah way that you're in the world? Like, what happened then? Do you remember? Yeah, totally. I, th I, I called it before the HDHD um, taxes, actually, um, we are kind of aware, like my my brain is wired a little different. So if I'm if I have a bit too much on my plate, uh, it happens that I'm not that concentrated or or forgetful or 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 a bit too um, 
not slow, but fast. Yeah. So it happened before, of course. And back then, I I I got really ashamed or or even angry or impulsive, but not. I, I was talking to the shop owner after that and she was really, she told me she gets really angry at the police and if if she she's feels um, that somebody is not um, gerecht, fair, fair with mm -hmm. her, um, that, that really does her head in. And I had that too, but I was, it was not, I, I really did, discuss the thing with the people like no but come on and I'm not used to that and I I forgot the keys yesterday and I was not in my garage and whatever so I really tried to discuss I was not like angry or impulsive towards the strangers or the people who only do their job but I was really kind of uh angry and hurt and ashamed about my condition mm -hmm. so okay i felt like why me and why do i do i have to put up with this shite and oh, <laughs> always me and so it it the shame came on top of whatever was going on mm. or the self pity or so it uh, even accumulated it accumulated and that was one part of of how my 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 down circle was built so stuff like that happened I was even more stressed maybe late then late for school or work or whatever then the pressure started to build up inside myself and I didn't want to feel all the feelings, so I started to try to push them down or to meditate or journal or do whatever the heck I knew to help myself not to feel whatever came through. And at the end, I was so stressed out about all of this external and internal stuff that I drank or, or did buy stuff I didn't need or ate too much. So that were the compensation strategies. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and, and nowadays it's like it, it happens less, of course, but it still does because that's one part of being Leia in this human life. And... It's an invitation today. It's a love letter. Ooh, um, too much or slow yeah. down or maybe take your hand off whatever is going on in your head and have a look at what's really needed or. Yeah. And so that's totally different. Totally, yeah. totally. It's like. The difference that I'm hearing you say is just like, I have th more than three centimeters of snow on my car. <laughs> I'm getting a fat fine for that. And yeah. I'm having a little kind of discussion debate about, can I get out of it? <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and if I can, I'm just friendly and fine and letting it go and on with my life versus in the past, like this huge, like, uh, lavina, um, yeah. avalanche of of following things that are happening emotionally um yeah. that take up capacity create stress build up need coping strategies mm -hmm. i mean what a huge difference and like for for those people leah who are hearing this for the first time like we really hope that the people who um Okay. who are listening to the podcast might share it with a friend maybe they've never even heard of the three principles mm -hmm. like what is the difference between the one state and the other state like what gets us there and it's the difference is you know not taking life so seriously um i'm just going to phrase it like that um, and yes. because because it's what comes to me 
you know, like I had a, I have some, you know, couple of experiences like that the last couple of weeks as well. Like we've had a lot going on, as you know, and one of the, the, my version of the fine um, is right now, every time we go to a checkup appointment with a dog, although we have doggy insurance, um, we're getting like a fat huge bill on the table, like 600 euros, 700 euros. And that's like, you know, insurance has covered this, 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 and that. And still this is left over for the medicines and the lab results. Yeah. And then, okay, you have to come back in six days and then 14 days. And I'm just like, I'm counting in my mind, like, what is this looking yeah. like? <laughs> you know? like oh. And, but being totally somehow, at absolute peace with that. Um, it's mm. not at all getting up in my head about it. Thank goodness I'm knocking on wood here mm. um, because there's a potential. I could get up in my head about it. I'm human. Anybody could, right? We could have a lot of thinking and emotions about money that's flying out the window that just, you know, we can't control. We can't, we can't control that. We don't know how many appointments are coming or what's going to be suggested the next time, you know, but it's just, somehow a relaxed experience um it's just life happening not taking life so seriously even if it's connected to a number or a diminishing bank account <laughs> or whatever all the stuff is that we make up or see as problematic mm -hmm. And just seeing it for what it is, which is a beloved creature who needs help. It costs money to run a clinic and have doctors and medicine. And, you know, that's just the way it is and done. And not that if that happened to everybody, they would be as easy about it financially. Maybe it would be a, big, a bigger issue for them, but their wisdom would give them something, mm -hmm. you know, how to deal with that in the moment. Um yeah. And so that's what I'm hearing. It, what, yeah, do you want to say something to that, Leah? Yes. And, and really to build that trust and maybe over time and maybe through an insight or a really consciousness shift, it doesn't matter either way, um, to, to trust the flow of life, wisdom in the moment and that little mind and big mind together like the the um uh, intellect and wisdom in the in the moment do guide us and it's so much more potent than what we could make up in our own little mind and that's very hopeful and and it's just lighter. the 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 experience of being in life is yeah. a lighter experience, and it doesn't mean that nothing ever happens. That the dog is not getting sick or ill, or you're not being pulled over by the police or whatever. Life happens, but when we're in the moment, when we know how we work it's easier to access that inner knowing and to navigate from a place of ease yeah or easier <laughs> yeah and it's like we can feel it like what the, the analogy that's coming to me do you know sometimes um i once i went to the osteopath for something uh, with my body and they very much are feeling into your um, fascia, into your organs mm -hmm. and how everything's connected. And I ask him, you know, how do you feel like what is off and needs to be unblocked and things like that? And he said to me, well, just imagine, you know, when you put a tablecloth over a table and imagine someone would put a vase of flowers on some point of the table. You could even have your eyes blindfolded. If you were to just pull a little bit, tug a little bit on that tablecloth, you'd feel there's something on the tablecloth mm -hmm. and you kind of get a feeling for where it is. Right. Mm -hmm. And I just had that sort of picture of, 
in, in those moments where you're standing in front of the sliding doors, right? It can go mm -hmm. down that road of anger and shame and craziness or upsetness because the money's leaving or you feel that little tug underneath the um, the tablecloth. And I, I felt that, you know, a couple of times when the, the bill was being handed over to me, like, oh, the tug, <laughs> you know, oh, there's a vase on the tablecloth. Mm -hmm. And then just realizing, okay, you can just let that release. Mm -hmm. um, we feel the direction mm -hmm. that it, that it could be taking if we, if we let it. Um, totally. And we can kind of go sometimes the other way, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, hopefully more and more and more. And and it's okay to be upset about yeah. it too, of course. And just somehow trusting that we wake up again. Yeah. And it gets easier. It does. It yeah. does. Mm -hmm. It does. And then maybe just like toward the end, because we probably want to close up pretty soon, but... I really could resonate with, with what you were saying with the love letters too. Cause I had some moments like that just this morning, like I've been not sleeping too well cause I have to sleep downstairs next to the dog. Mm. So he doesn't lick or bite his open wounds that he has right now and stuff. And I got up this morning and I could tell I was sort of in a low mood. It was really mm. early. We had to be at the, the veterinary clinic pretty early and I could start to feel like everything I was doing was sort of like a little bit iffy. Um, mm. When I when I got a cup out of the, the cabinet, it fall down. Or mm -hmm. I was driving my husband's car and I pushed the wrong button and it made a speed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all of a sudden the motor was like, mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. all wrong. And I really just had that moment of two like, hmm, this is a love letter. This is a love mm -hmm. letter. Just things have been a lot lately. Let's just slow down mm -hmm. a bit, come back really, really to the present moment. Mm -hmm. And you just like Shelly, I was talking to myself, Shelly, you just don't need to be doing things this fast right now, right? Mm -hmm. That slow down. I could really resonate with that when you when you said it, that we mm -hmm. get those love letters. Yeah. Mm. And even from the outside, I mean yeah. it's it's a manifestation of whatever yeah. in a way so we we can look both ways for the love letters and we we kind of we start to to have that feeling that you mentioned with the vase on the table like mm, it's a bit off when I'm really really honest with myself mm -hmm. and yeah coming back and readjust adjusting adjusting no that's a difficult word how do you say that readjusting, Re readjusting. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah so yeah thanks for sharing that story leah that was so good and uh <laughs> like leah said like don't just stay away from switzerland like if you even get a speeding ticket it's going to be 10 times the price of the speeding <laughs> ticket you get in germany that's just how the traffic system works there it's very accurate but very safe it's very safe yes. you want to be safe you're going to love it um we yeah. hope to see you or hear you on the next podcast oh. episode yeah Celia. what i can't hear you anymore i just try to wrap it up so thank you so much for being with us. Da? Leah? I made the, the last. <laughs> okay. I, I I did wrap it up. Let's do it again because I think I it's... I can't not... hear you. You can't hear me? <clears throat> yes, can you me hear it? Can you me hear it? Nothing. And nothing else matters.